guys, what's up? It's me, Percy. So today, um, we're actually, I've been getting a lot of comments and stuff on Instagram and everything all over on my YouTube. I'll see it pop up now and then in the um, comments on some random videos and stuff. I'm going to teach you another technique today, which is a watercolor technique. And so it's a little bit spin off. I know I would usually do this on Vloggity Vlog Tuesdays, but I have a great idea for Vloggity this Tuesday for my vlog. So um, I'm actually going to teach you how to do the uh, galaxy effect with watercolor. So that's it's going to be fun and everything and a lot of people have been asking me how to do it and it's a really fun watercolor technique that anyone can do and I'm actually going to use my old paints because I do have the new Koi watercolor set and everything but I figured since I've been telling everybody to draw to like buy this basic set and everything I'm gonna use what I obviously started out with and so what you're gonna need is um of course watercolors it doesn't have to be this set it could be somewhere else I'll put in the link down below again where I got this set from on Amazon and of course you need some paint brushes and then you're gonna need some water which is this is gross very gross because I was just painting um, Odette over there. I haven't posted her on Instagram yet. But um, I'm going to get some clean water before we start. And of course, you need um, what you're going to need at the very end. We're not going to need it till later. I do suggest that we use um, some gouache. It's white gouache. It's called Winsor & Newton Designer Gouache. This is my favorite stuff in the whole wide world. I use it on everything. If you do not have gouache, just some regular like crafts, like acrylic white paint is going to do well or anything. Um, I'm going to show both of, like both techniques when we get to the end when we actually put stars in our galaxy and stuff. And I'm going to show you what you can do with gouache and what you can do with the white paint. Okay, but this is most preferable and you can go and buy it from Michaels or Hobby Lobby or any art stores that sell like basic watercolor sets and everything. But um, yeah, this was only like, mm, I think like $7, but this thing has lasted me since January. Okay, so this is a really cool technique. What you're going to do is you're just going to get your plain water, all right? Make sure it's nice and clean. And once again, um, I do suggest that you get some really good watercolor paper. It needs to be watercolor paper or your paper. If you do it on regular computer paper or just Bristol board or whatever, it will start to fold and everything. So you need some good, sturdy watercolor paper that'll take it. And I, of course, I always recommend, like I said in my um, art supply video, Strathmore is fantastic. But what you're going to do is you're just going to get a lot of water and you're going to just put it all over. Wherever, like, if you're going around a word or whatnot, then you're going to go around the word. Let's, um, let's draw a smiley face for now. So here's my smiley face. Let's pretend that you want this one area to be, look, it looks like Sherlock. All right. <clears throat> if you understand that reference, I love you forever. But let's go ahead and say, like, this is my, maybe this is my word or my characters and I want my galaxy background around this word so I'm just gonna color with water around it and you can see the shine going around it and everything alright now I'm gonna show you what what's really cool about this alright I'm gonna come over here to my art my set and I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little bit of pink and then as soon as I touch it it starts to spread out see it's gonna spread where the water is already and then I can come in and I can spread it around a little bit more. And I can move it around. And the point is, when you're putting on this first layer of watercolor, you don't want it to dry. You want it to keep it nice and wet and still going around. And get right around the edge. A really cool thing that I learned about watercolor is that you won't go over the lines if it's wet and it's kind of like if it's wet over here and if the other side touches the other wet side then it's gonna go and it's gonna pour into the lines but as long as you're right on the edge nowhere close your water will not no matter how much water is around it it will not go into your dry spot it will go where you have put other water see how it's like building up maybe if you could see that if I go in the shine see that in the shininess of the light but yeah all right, so I'm going to grab some purple next, and I'm going to just go like this. Just get it nice and gooey, and just go around like that. All right, and this is just the first layer so far. I'm going to get more purple. 
and then I can start making my box or however bigger I want to make it and now I can just drag my water around see at least I have a good tint to see where my water is going all right and then I'm gonna grab some blue and I can just I just put water droplets all over it and of course is you're gonna have to be very patient with when it dries or if you're not patient you just grab your hair dryer like I'm gonna do as soon as I'm done with my first layer but literally I'm just taking pieces and it's all gonna just merge in together and watercolor like I said in my first watercolor tutorial it it's based up up on layers so you need a good first layer which we're obviously making right now and just push it around you can go anywhere you want with it and of course these colors that I'm using purple blue and pink they're all gonna complement each other and they're all in our galaxy pictures that we see all over Tumblr and Twitter and Pinterest and oodles and poodles so yeah you just want to keep it nice and damp all around see what I mean it's not going to cross over into the smiley face area because there is no water where the smiley face is. See, it just will all merge in together. And if you want to do something really cool, like if you see my Sully and Mike painting, you can go like this and just let it, you see how it's gathering at the bottom right there. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to come in with more and eventually, you see how it's like struggling? It doesn't want to go past this point because there is no water over here and it wants to, it doesn't want to cross over to the dry point. I'm just going to keep adding droplets of water and eventually it's going to start falling. Like a waterfall! Let it rain! There it goes. See? It's really cool and let's see, you don't want to do that where it comes down, if you see it, it poured all over my, my book. You can just do like this and give it a little bit of help. And that's how I did like my um, OK OK sign from The Fault in Our Stars. And I can come in and see how it's just, it's still really wet and I just do like that. And if I just take a little bit of my watercolor, I can go like that. OK. Little drips of galaxy and I can just go like this and just, you just go crazy. Well, I'm going to stop this so I can clean that up. What a If you don't want to wait to watch your watercolor sit there and dry, then I really suggest that you get one of these or go steal your mother's or your sister's or your aunt's or your grandma's. I don't know. Go in there with the dryer and dry it up. You see how my paper is starting to crumble a little bit? That's because I just dried it with heat. So if your paper starts to crumble a little bit like this, just kind of go like this to it. Just bend it inward towards you, your image towards you, and it just, life's easy. Look at it, it pops right back out. Okay, what you're gonna do, now that we have our good first layer of our galaxy going on, uh, you just go right back in, you do another layer of galaxy. And like, I put a little pink here. I'm gonna put it there. I don't have that much pink in here, but I want a lot of pink. So I'm just gonna kind of spread it around again. And then more some more purple. We have all this area and every, everything again. You could take your, your, your hair blow dryer, whatever, and you could just go ahead and blow this all dry and everything, but once again, I'm going to come over here where I'm going to do this. See once again how it doesn't want to go anywhere? There we go. There we go. I don't even have to do a waterfall. Mm -hmm. Stop. See how it's just all traveling down. Very cool, very nice. I'm gonna help these guys right here. 
now that we see, you can see, you can obviously, there's our first layer, if you look right here, and here's our second layer and everything. Now we can start picking and choosing where we want our dark spots to go. Watercolor is just built up on layers, layers and layers and layers. Now I'm just gonna come in and I'm just gonna do like a little bit of like, you know, frame it off just a little bit and just go over my spots. Give it a little nice blue frame around it. Just go over in areas. But you can see the galaxy is definitely working and like, Let's say, all right, so I've got this corner up here and it's nice and wet. I'll come over here I'm gonna get my dark blue. And I'm just gonna push it around. Okay, let me tell you about the magicalness of gouache. The magicalness of gouache is, it's kind of like a whiteout if you make a mistake on watercolor especially. So it, as you can see, watercolor has a mind of its own, but you know, over here I can like, if I wanted to just remain the smiley face to be white, then I would want to like go over that one particular spot and everything and change it. But the cool thing is, I can take my gouache right now and let's say I want to put it in this blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of like clouds because this is galaxy and it will stay the shape of the shade of color. So here's my, my little itty bitty clouds and I'm just dabbing it on. Get some more over here. And you, just the more you add, the more of like clouds you got and everything and just spread it out and dabbing it around. Here's the thing about gouache. When it comes to just gouache, all right, we're gonna push these out of the way because we're gonna come to our stars. What It is a very thick, thick like substance already so you need it just to get barely wet and put like, since stars are close together and they range in different sizes, just literally you're just going to be nice and easy and just like pointillism. Some stars are closer, some stars are big and if you make a big star go ahead and put it right there. But the thing about gouache, instead of it just sitting on top and remaining like this, sometimes it'll just blend right into your colors and mesh in really well. That's why I love gouache really cool thing about gouache as well is I can take this and I can go into my yellow over here and then look at it turns that tint of color so my gouache is now yellow and I can come in see my yellow stars this is what I used for the pixie dust and the stars on my most recent Peter Pan drawing and you see down here, you see how the clouds have already like blended in and they just look really nice and I can come in around here. But I do have my, I'm gonna put some white in here. I'm gonna grab another paintbrush. Oh, I don't need to water it, duh. Okay, all right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of white on the tip of my brush and it's just like wash, no big deal. It's not gonna blend in as well with the color. See how it's kind of blended in right here? How it's already meshing into the blue? If you can see how it's already blending in with the blue, so it just looks nice and neat. Here's my white paint again. I do not su suggest for you to do um, what I did with the gouache in yellow. Don't use your acrylic paint in your watercolor, of course. If you have more acrylic paint or craft paint anywhere, then just mix it with yellow paint because I don't think acrylic and watercolor would get along well. Well, there you go guys. There's how I do my galaxy effect and like I said, I'll put in the link down below where you can get 
this watercolor sets where I started out with my watercolor. I absolutely still love it. It's lasted me this long. I mean, my goodness. But I really hope this was helpful and this is going to be fun to do with your watercolor and just practice around with it and everything. And just doing this technique, you get to know watercolor a little bit more and you get to know kind of how to control it. But once again, it has a mind of its own, so you never know where it's going to go. So I'm finally going to pick an Alice in Wonderland character for next week for the tutorial. So yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I hope you practice more watercolor. Uh, you just got to learn two techniques, not only the galaxy effect, but my running effect, how I did that and everything. Um, but yep, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. Leave in the comments below who you'd like me to draw next and suggestions for vloggity vlog vlogs. I think you guys are going to like this week's vloggity vlog vlog. It's another time lapse. I'm not going to tell you who, but it's going to be pretty darn cool. But yeah. Love you all. Have a great week. Bye.